Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the free features that BookBolt offers. Now, before we go ahead and do it, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. All right, now here we are in BookBot and we're going to be looking straight over here at the resource section. Now to get to this, all you have to do is go to bookbot.io and that will allow you to be able to get straight into this section here. I'll leave a link down below. This is just the free section. So we're going over here. We're going to go. The first thing we look at is KDP Finder. I'm going to click on that. And what you can do is click on there and I'm going to choose one called INFP Journal. And then we can hit search. Now this, what is an INFP? Well, an INFP is a Myers-Briggs personality test. And an INFP is one of the personalities. And this is not a personality testing, but yeah, it stands for intuition, uh, sorry, Introvert, Intuition, Feeler, Perceiver. That's what I am. So, yeah. Anyhow, we do like to journal. <laughs> I will say that. Anyhow, what you can do is you can have a look at the various categories that you can choose to put into KDP. For example, you've got literary collection and diaries and journals, juvenile nonfiction, language arts, journal writing, Non-fiction, language and disciplines, journalism, non-fiction, biography, autobiography, editors, journalists and publishers. And as you can see, these are really good ones to put it into. Now let's say for example you want to go men's journal. It'll be very much the same sort of thing. Now if you want to go choose a different category, Let's go Sports Journal. We can go there. There we go. Fiction Sports. That's high relevance. Then you got non fiction, uh, law, and sports. You got games, and you go through and you just go right through until you find all the ones with sports in it hockey, lacrosse, reference, racquetball. Yeah, and you can go through and have a look at all these and all these have medium to high relevance so you can choose one of these ones let's say for example you want to go uh, Christian Journal this one should have some fairly good ones as well yep so as you can see you got fiction Christian general, you should have non-fiction, religion, Christianity, orthodox, and you've got various other ones that you can choose from. So that is the KDP category finder. Now let's go back and have a look at what else was here. Alright, let's go have a look at the next one. The next one is called the Interior Wizard. Now the Interior Wizard is amazing. And you'll see why in just a moment. When we get to this, when we click on that, we come down to here and it will bring us to this page. And all we need to do is click on this little button just there. Now, because I'm in the free section, you'll notice that there are some that are actually grayed out. And you can choose the different ones that, you, that, are, grayed out, that are not grayed out because the ones that are not grayed out are the ones that are free to use. Now, let's say, for example, you want to have a huge list of different things. let's just say you have a, a dream journal or something along those lines you might have a recipe book if you want to scoop of diving hexagon papers you got wide ruled and you got birthday plat reminders you got a whole bunch of different things you can do and you can go through you got daily planners you got fishing logs and there are 
a heck of a lot of these interiors that you can choose from to be able to put onto Amazon KDP. Yeah, have a look through here. Have a look at the various ones they have on offer, and you can make a choice. Here's a June journal. Let's choose this one. Now I'm going to be making this one 8.5 by 11. We're going to make it with bleed, and we might make this 100 pages. And then we can hit download. Now, in just a moment, it will download it and it will open it up in a brand new tab. And as you can see, I might shrink that down a little bit so you can have a better look at it. It's a bit too much. I'm going to read it. Thoughts before sleep, emotions before sleep, dream, if you have one, interpretation of your dream, feelings upon awakening, and comments. So, and you can then have that across 100 pages. As you can see, it covers the entire 100 pages. Now, that's not all. I mean, you've got, you've got a whole bunch of these you can choose from. There's an awful lot here. And you can just pick and choose what you want. You might want to say, for example, do a prayer journal. And you might want to go here, for example, you might want to go, see, 6.5 by 9. Or 6 by 9, I should say. And you have maybe 100 pages on that. You want to go there. And you can choose your prayer journal. And you can have a look at what's involved in it. You've got, so you've got preacher, topic, sermons, and you've got key verses, points, and so forth. And you can go through and have a look at what this is. And people love prayer journals. Because it's something they can keep their thoughts and their prayers in mind. If they have any prayer points or anything that's been answered in their prayers, they can then write that down as well. As well. And you can go through, it's not just Christians that have prayer journals, it's other people as well. you got uh, workout logs and you've got daily fitness uh, sheets. And you can go through and you can have a look at all the ones that they have here. They have an awful lot here. And the best part about it is these are all 100% free. And you can choose to-do lists recipe journals uh, simple weight tracker garden planning planting i should say prayer list and there's a whole bunch of them so let's go back to the next one and we have we'll go back one more space Now in this particular part, we're going to be going over here to the Interior PDF Combiner Pro. Let's click on that. And what you've got here, you've got, you've got your first page and your last page. And then you can add individual pages as you go along. Let's have a look here. Let's say, for example, you want a line rule page. Let's just go there for the journal. And you might want to have, say, for example, a line rule page here as well. But then we decide that you want to have other things in here as well. Let's let's go choose this one. And you might want to go, okay, let's just go, I'm going to have over here, I might go a gratitude journal. And the one above it, which was lovely looking, let's go down here. you got notes and you got your blush notes or you might want to go a little bit more masculine depending on the sort of person you're choosing to do it with click on that but if it's for example women you can do it that way and you can just choose and you can go through and you can create your own journal you can make it completely unique to you and this way it becomes specifically your creation and that's a really really awesome way of doing it and you can do this and, and just continue all the way through now, personally, you can also change the size. I would not make one a 5x8. I would possibly make it either an 8.5 or a 6x9. I would make it with bleed. And then you go through, and as you go along, you can just continue to do that. You can make it that you have more than one page. Let's just say, for example, you just want to make a whole bunch. 
just want to have a first page and a last page and a whole bunch of different pages in between. I'm going to be making this one just to give you an example, six pages. Now let's go down and we'll make this one a gratitude journal. Just to stick with the gratitude journal. And then all of a sudden you've got a whole bunch of different gratitude journals. So you got this one, this one and this one. And then all the rest of these are gratitude journals. And you can go here as well. Say so if you just want to finish it off now. Go back down to the gratitude journal. And down the bottom. Oops, the daisy, I forgot to, say, forgot to change the number. All right, let's go back. Halfway down. Now, one thing we need to do is change the number to one. Go back down. Halfway along, gratitude journal. And then we'll do the same thing again. Making sure we change, making sure we've changed it to one. And then we can go down here. We we'll grab this one, and we can make this one the notes. There we are. All right. So as you can see. You started off with your blank page in the front, or the, you know the line rule page. You got your gratitude journal section. You got your notes. Then you got your gratitude journal all the way along, and it finishes off with gratitude journal and notes. And then you got your line rule last page. Of course, you're going to be doing more than 16 pages, but it just gives you a really good idea as to what to do. Okay, guys, so that's the free section of Bookbot. But there is a lot more to BookBot in the paid section. Now, I have other videos if you want to have a look at that. They'll be in the section above. And I can tell you now, the paid version of BookBot is amazing. It's one of my, the very few places I actually go, it's one of the places I pretty much stick to, to do my low content creation. That and also when I create my own stuff from scratch. But... What you can do is, if you want to have a look at the free version and then have a look at the paid version, I have a 20% discount that you can use down in the description down below. Okay guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey guys, why not share and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of the free section of BookBot. Okay guys, have a great day. Bye for now.